All right, now y'all probably know there's a big old hurricane attacking North and South Carolina, and that's where we live. So there's lots of cameras doing lots of live streams of all the devastation because people are weirdly fascinated with it. So we've been coming it all, looking for any ghosts, maybe. What we got here, let's take a look, let's take a look. Let's take a good old fashioned look. All right, so we got a live stream of the pier. This was recorded at 6.66 a.m., the most haunted of all times. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're on right, a pier. We got some lights, we got some crates, we got some wood, some benches. It's a lot of benches. A lot of, maybe too many. Whoa. Whoa, there and he is. There he is. Oh, now we got a red ring, and you can see the ghost here. These red circles, you probably think, you probably see these in videos all the time, and you think, oh, I didn't need that, I could see it, idiot. Well, actually, it turns out you're the idiot. Hit him, Billy. Here's a big old lesson for you dum-dums without your, with your peanut brains. These red circles, as you amateurs might call them, are actually called crimson encapsulation circules. That's right, circules. It's a real word. Don't look it up. You don't need to. I just told you. I'm basically a dictionary. He's basically a dictionary. It's like a super jail cell, but for ghosts and spooks and ghouls and goblins and ghosts and angels and demons and devils. If he tried to hit the circle, it would burn his hand and crisp him up real good, real toasty, real nice. Don't eat it, though. Put butter on it. Don't eat it. You and can put butter on it, hypothetically, if you were going to eat it, you would need to put butter on it. All right, now, some idiots like Karen would probably say, this ain't a real ghost. It's just a towel getting blown around by the hurricane, or three seagulls in a trench coat. Karen can just take an umbrella and go outside and fly away. Actually, she can't. We used the umbrella, remember? Oh yeah, we did break her umbrella. But it was her fault, probably. Yeah. Now, I could have gone down to the coast and, and beat up Hurricane Florence, because I do beat up ghosts all the time. But uh, I was really busy. I was doing a perilous poltergeist pursuit. Y'all, he was just lost in the park. I did not get lost. I told you. I was I was looking for the ghost for six days. Where's your right shoe? I, I put... It It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You that, think maybe he's fresh because this hurricane killed him, unfortunately? That could be. That could be. But, I'm glad you said that, Billy. There is another leading theory on the internet. Is there? And you go to Wikipedia. Wikipedia. The source of unlimited and always true knowledge. Always true. Absolutely. You will find this it, it article here entitled, The Gray Man. Ghost. I didn't do that good. You did it backwards. That was kind of haunted. i am be honest. That was kind of haunted. In South Carolina ghost lore, the gray man is a ghost. Reportedly seen on the coast of Polly's Island, South Carolina, the Warren's residents of coming severe storms and hurricanes. Right now, he likes to warn people about the severe storms and hurricanes. That's and right. the last sighting was just before... Hurricane Florence, uh, time for an update, idiots. It was right now. Right during it. On the way, he and his horse were caught in quicksand like the quick fluff. Quicksand? Hurricanes make quicksand? This this story is crazy. And puff mud? Puff mud. Hurricanes make quicksand and puff mud everywhere, apparently. Puff mud. I don't understand what this has to do with anything. All right, this looks kind of like quadruple six. This get out get out this is we can't show this we can't show this oh this is extra I'm sorry. copyrighted that didn't count if you say that didn't count when you break a copyright rule it doesn't count that's right you only get so many of those though now jim do you know what a pelican is it's like a like a like a it's like a seagull yeah it's like a it's like a giant seagull with a huge chomping mouth <laughs> i don't stop I don't it like goes that. like that. If I saw one of those, I'd punch it. An anecdote of a horse that some older boys at the orphanage set on fire. Ugh. Comparing himself to the horse, he regularly whips himself with a belt while hallucinating. And fish kills a boy scout. A fish kills a boy scout. Wow, this story is much more twisted than I could have ever expected. Now, hang on. That reminds me of a certain thing I did see once of a news lady getting hit by a fish in the face. News lady f fish face. Dang it. I Red hit. Head hit. That'll probably not do it. Uh, there we go. There we go. Let's see it. She's yelling. She's talking. She oh, boy. It Taken got her. Out. Taken out by a, a trout. Probably. Bam! Thank man, look at trap. that. She looks like she's rapping or something. She's real mad looking. Yeah, and then bam! bam. She Taken died. Taken down. I wonder if she died. I wonder what happened to that fish. Yeah, did she die? How do you do the... Hang on, let me help you. Doop-de-doop. -doop. Oh, dang. One simple click. 
All right, there we go. Oh, now here's a big fat friggin' fact, folks. One thing y'all probably already know is that hurricanes have different categories, like uh, one or two or um, uh, three. But did y'all also know that ghosts themselves are, have categories too? Let me tell y'all a couple ghost categories. Here's one. Poltergeist. Wow. Y'all thought poltergeists and ghosts were different, didn't you? But uh, there's spirits, specters, ectums, ghouls. Wait, not, I mean ghouls. It's easy mistake. And to goblins, make. and trolls, and snozzles. So it's customary on Ghost Guys Go to give a rating to a ghost. And we will be the first professional ghosters to give this ghost a rating. First ever. First in history. My rating is storied and troubled. Now I'm going to rate the gray man ghost as gray on a scale of white to black. Ooh, that's a pretty good rating. Thank you. All right, thank you all for tuning in to this breaking red banner alert special episode of Ghost Reviews. All right, y'all, if y'all want to support us, like, comment, favorite, subscribe, double subscribe, triple subscribe. Uh, hack into the mother frame and give us a bunch of extra likes. You know, while you're in there, just send us some money. And it ain't about us. Remember that. It's all about Ben, our friend who's We're in We're all helping for Ben. We're hoping he wakes up someday. From his special ghost coma. If you want to learn more about that, you go back and watch all of our videos a lot of times and give us a lot of ad send revenue. Send us your thoughts and prayers. They'll strengthen our powers. But mostly money. Yeah, money strengthens our wallets.